Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. It's early, I woke up early because I'm going out with my friends today and I'm probably gonna be out for most of the day. Gotta get this one recorded. I don't have a buffer right now. I record these the same day they go up. What are we doing today? What do you wanna do? You wanna play loot mode? I kinda wanna play loot mode, but... No, today we're gonna play unfair. I wanna get an unfair run on YouTube. Let's play unfair. At Bramble 11 to 20. I gotta tell you, I don't know if this curse is bad or not, but I think it sounds really annoying. I'm down for reanimated bosses. For each defeated boss, add a bones to each fight. This is a non-curse early, and if we get some good synergies, it can do a lot. And then... Or, it, yeah, it can be a benefit, even. And we'll take... I like Skulk more than Monster HP, I think. Plus one for every six versus turn two, plus one. Now, you know, let's go Monster HP. I think on paper it's got to be better. And then Frail Middle, our middle hero, takes double damage if they haven't been shielded. I like this setup. I'm down to Clown here. First fight, we got to save Ruffian. We have Healer Cultist. Healer, I wonder if I value too highly. I do think Healer is very good, but I wonder if that's wrong. Warden Myko? I like Warden. I have converted into a Myko hater. The longer I play, the more I feel like he just doesn't do anything. He's not terrible, he's just like lower middle to me. And if your starter is someone good like Cultist, I think you're better off chilling. Uh, actually, make sure you play the thing first, yeah. Healer, I just feel like, does really well. I can first Ruffian kill Chrome? Oh yeah. Ooh, that's right. The interesting thing about Vulnerable is it does double all incoming damage. To me, intuitively, I would assume it would be only, like, double damage from enemy hits, but it is all incoming damage doubled. So pain sides are doubled, poison is doubled, everything is doubled. When they say all, they mean all. I win here. I was thinking I didn't have a kill for some reason. One of these days I'm going to get a cool setup for Basilisk scale, but it's not today. Add nothing to the left side? This keyword has no effect? Hmm. Cool. I believe that does uh, nothing, actually. Interesting. I don't- the only thing I could imagine doing with that is rainbow. And it's a plus one if you have rainbow, but rainbow goes on the middle, so... I am doubtful. Plus one here gives me cut. And two gives me a kill on the archer. I think I'm okay. Interesting. The hard part here is that this knoll is hitting my cultist. Like if I do this, I'd have to kill the knoll, which I can't do, which is a shame. Oh, it actually is kind of messy. There's no good way to go about this. I think you sacrifice your cultist. Because the problem is that I don't believe I can save everyone. Well, I could save everyone. You just gotta spend all your mana defensively. I, I'm down. I think we can get away with it. We can probably get away with it. It'll be close, but with a better set of rolls from the enemies, we can probably sneak away. Another cleave is really good because it kills the archer for you. Two damage. Okay. Oh, he's dying to the wolf cleave. Oh, and then we just go burst first. You could cut here too, but I think we're good now. Sneak out of it with no deaths. It's a little risky to play it this way, but... I do like to greed. Actually, you can roll for a bigger shield. No, and that's just lethal. Okay. I have to roll for a way to save cultists now, but we're good. Ah, do you want gambler or a gambler? Hmm. An interesting choice. I lean a little bit towards real gambler and not sparky gambler. Sparky's okay, because he has a good side and a good spell, but I'm good to just play Gambler. Gambler's a little bit more consistent. Yeah, sometimes we hit cool fives and it's nice. 
Most importantly, I need to make sure I shield this hit so that the troll doesn't put two poison on my guy here. And we will cut. Yeah, that's what the frail, frail does, by the way. If you don't know, if you shield, it clears the vulnerable. They take double damage unless you clear the sh or unless you shield them. It's gonna be annoying, but it's not gonna be terrible. Dude, this gambler? That, ga that gambler, though. Wow. Saved cultists with back-to-back -back fives. Keep it up. I like fletching here. Incense is like... I think it's pretty bad. I like fletching on Gambler. I don't want to roll and get another dead item. Ranged is okay. Gambler 3 for 3? This is some unbelievable luck. Let me tell ya. Ah yes, now we're gonna start seeing some bones. Old Joey Bones is coming to play. Ah, plus one. Ah, indeed. I know things. But we overkill the bandit. Yeah, you know what? I guess we're just fine. I'm actually so far ahead here in this fight that I kind of want to greed. I want the chest. Can I get it? I can. Okay, hold, hold on now. Now we're gonna talk about the greedy plays we can make here. Like burst, burst, overkill chest, or plus one items. I have to die, I have to have healer die. I'm gonna let healer die for an item though. I'm down to clown. We'll see what it is. I, we're not at risk of dying, so I don't think it's a big deal to greed here. Burst, burst, and one. Two of hearts? Hey, you know what? It's immediately good. Helps healer come back to life. Glacia, if I take Glacia, we're playing super defensive. I really want to play Caldera, so I'm gonna hold out. Because Caldera makes life much easier. I will play Gladiator, who I think is just okay here. Fun fact, uh, someone taught me this in the YouTube comments. If you two of hearts on round start, you heal. Watch this, healer goes to four. That's neat. Two, four, two. We can kill bones with these two. Mm, I don't think you ever lock the one on Gambler. Yeah, you just, you get it because you have to. You get it because the game forces it on you. Gladiator is getting his ass beat here. And I could cut first bones. Don't love it. What about two plus two here and then cut burst snake? Hit you for one and cut burst snake. That seems okay. I only have to find six damage now and I already have two of it. So I only need to find four damage here. Here's two, four. Oh, this is it. Not too bad. A whetstone for gambler? I mean, not bad. It's it's okay. The thing about gambler, whetstone is not super interesting here because going from five to six, it doesn't change how you want to roll, I feel. But I'm not going to put it on warden because I think plus one on warden is whatever. The nice thing is that six is now kill corpse, but you do have to hit it. What it brings about is the question of do I lock threes? Oh, what is this? Oh, this is slippery dice. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, with Slippery Dice, I actually almost want to reroll Cultist. Lock two. Now I'm going to lock the three and roll the rest. A four shield? It's not terrible. This fight's going to be really annoying, though. This is a full block, and then I just have to roll the rest. That's fine. Full we'll block here. Burst cut bones and then I can burst the quartz next turn. Ah, uh, and if I burst cut bones, uh, it's fine. I'm just going to cut my warden. Actually, no, I should shield cultist if that's the play. Let him take one. Burst cut bones, three damage to quartz. We take zero and it's fine. The only thing to not like here is that the gladiator got weakened. 
He's out of the fight this turn. Mmm, slippery dice. It's okay, I can roll it. I am done rolling. Yes, because we can shield cultists to keep him alive. Okay, cut gladiator. We rolled a six here. I'm probably going to want to burst my warden if I can. I'll just do that. Six to kill a bones is pretty sad, but it's fine. I think we're ahead enough now. Slippery dice, very annoying, but it's not the end of the world. 2x, this is 2, 4, let me check, this might just be lethal. You don't want to leave lethal on the table here, if yeah, it is. Fiend? Fiend is okay. How many blues have I seen? Just one, right? I've seen three. And so this will be four. The odds are pretty decent. It's two out of four. I will see any two. And I want to see this one. So the odds are in my favor to see Caldera. I'll play Disciple here. We put the two of hearts on Warden because Magrat hits a... Or not Magrat. Gaitha hits a seven heavy. So two of hearts will let Warden come back from that. Unless he gets hit by Magrat and Agnes, in which case he's taking plus 13. It's okay, we'll burst it. You know, the Whetstone didn't do too poorly here. Gladiator rolled a nice little 4. I don't respect Gaitha. That's what you gotta know here. Uh, but I don't want to kill Magrat because it kills my cultist, so we're gonna kill Agnes. We burst Warden and he lives. And then we cut burst to kill Joey Bones up there. And it's not a bad setup. If I could have saved one more HP on Warden, that would have been ideal so that two of hearts would proc. But it's okay. This fight's not over. By any means. I actually think it's a little difficult here still. Two self shield is nice. Three damage is nice. Gaitha is middle, Magrat is bottom. I think we want to kill Magrat here. 2, 4 is 8, so 2, okay. We want to go like 2, 4, burst, burst. Oh, Gambler dies in this line. I think I'm okay with just accepting a few deaths here to be sure I live this fight. I don't want to play slow, I just want to end it. The only other idea here is I could go like... No, okay, so here's the thing, right? You go for Gaitha here, you can burst your Warden and then kill Gaitha. The problem with this line is that... You know what, I bet I can save this, actually. I think it's fine. I was gonna say Disciple's going to die to Magrat, but I bet I just roll a shield and we're chilling. Just don't lock two, or lock this two, two... And then any two damage would be good here? Yeah, okay. This is actually better. Just heal Disciple through it. It's all good. Ah, there he is! Yo, I've never seen him! There he is! That's cool. I wasn't sure I'd ever see this guy. It's- it's him. The 1 in 500 troll zombie. And this game thought it would pull one over on me. So, if you've never seen this guy, it's a his name is Zombie with a zero, and he's a 1 in 500, and his special is Trolled. If you hit him for more than four, the attacker dies. Very cool. Disciple is okay. I'm just thinking about maybe putting Jester Cap on Disciple here. Lich's finger is almost good. You just let Gambler die. Hmm. I'll go random. Empty chalice? That's not bad. Oh no, I moved two of hearts, you idiot! Ah! I apologize. Does he do two damage cleaves? What the hell? Maybe they always do. I think they always do two damage cleaves, actually, come to think of it. Okay, this fight's gonna be rough. I need a... I, I want to roll for a 2 damage. Well, no, the self-shield is nice because I can ignore these two bones with this. And then I can go for this one. 
Okay, I would like to roll some self-heal. Three damage I accept. I think two damage I accept. Not ideal. Not terrible, though. So we can go two first three Cultist is always going to die here, I fear. I think that's just how the fight ends up. Unless I kill this one, but two first if I just give him the the two of hearts here, if it just comes to me in time, I can save him. Yeah, I can't save both. So long, cultist. You ever want to cut here? I don't think so. Look at him. He's got a troll face. What a goofy enemy. What a goofy little guy. I'm just gonna res the cultist and cut him immediately. We're gonna walk away from this fight, okay? It's a shame that cultist is gonna be injured, but I will remember to two of hearts, except he's gonna upgrade immediately. I wonder if it kills through ranged. It doesn't kill, or it does kill through ranged. That's interesting. So it's actually, like, special. How about that? I would have, I would have guessed no to does it kill through ranged. Kinda weird. But it's okay. Anyway, I need to reroll now. Two. Actually, there's no reason. I guess the only thing I can roll is three damage out of this, and that's marginally better. I wouldn't hate some healing here either. Yeah, okay, we're chilling with mana. So it goes four here, two here, self shield, burst, burst, because we have empty chalice. Done. Kill. Could have been worse. Ah, it didn't hit. That's too bad. Evoker is an acceptable hit. It's okay. I would have li really liked to have hit on Caldera here for this run, but it wasn't crazy anyway because we don't have a good way to do damage to everything. So Caldera wasn't like a huge requirement. Big shield here seems fine. The Wiz hit his one good side, but I'm going to send him to hell. Ah, it looks bad because it's frail edges. I see it. Two four kills top bones. Kill the whiz, shield the gambler, and this fight looks fine. I have no problems. I have some problems. Two mana, I think you just lock. The triple frail is really rough to deal with here. Two mana gives me a drop. I'm actually down to shield just to break all the frails. We drop. It's a really sad drop. You know, I, you gotta do it, but it's a real shame to drop like that for one. You know what? No, I don't think I should do it. I think I should actually bank the mana. Oh well, I would really like to kill this guy here. But we can just keep defending. There's no reason not to. I'm making slow and steady progress. Shield these two, heal up. Drop his ass. He's making progress against me, I'm making progress against him. The real battle. We got it. There was a world where I just miss everything and die here, but that would never happen to me. Fearless? Plus one max HP or blindfold? Blindfold doesn't do anything interesting for me. It can if I see Barbarian, but Fearless is very good. You put it on Gladiator here, and you just get an 8 health stun now. I think it makes sense. 1 damage end gauge is too ugly. 2 damage self shield is fine. 3 damage is good for bones. Save Disciple here. Eh, a 3? That's good. Drop. 3. Both bones die. Save Disciple. I would really like to pop the Ghost Intangible here. I don't think it's in the cards, though, sadly. I guess I could ignore this one. Mm, hold on. Four shield. Ah, no, I can't. There's no good way to go about it, unfortunately. 
Because I can't rotate the drop around or anything like that. Okay. I'll be alright. It's a shame that Disciple rolled healing turn one. But I think we'll be okay. Three, a two. two. Let me just lock all of this and see what we have here if we just go all in. I can't kill the ghost unless I can kill the slimes. Do I think I can kill the slimes? No, because the slimer took one. Even still, I wouldn't be able to kill it. But I can just burst slimer. It's not a terrible play, but I'd rather kill the bottom slimer because it's easier. This is a very safe play. I'm confident I won't die here, but I'd rather not. I'd rather play drop burst here. Okay, so let's play drop and then three to kill the Slimer. That looks a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four into the Slimer, two into the ghosty burst the warden. The only thing that's scary here is if I get triple high rolled by Slimers, which it's not even a high roll. They have to low roll. But I don't want to leave this ghost alive anymore. Ooh, the slimers. There's the slime. Let's triple roll me. Tragic. Ooh, my god. And we rolled three X's on our first roll. Okay, it's really bad. Three damage kills the ghost. This ghost rolled three poisons in a row, which is a real shame as well. Gambler is dead for sure. I need to just roll it. Tough. But not irrecoverable. We kill the ghost. And we kill the Slimer. Ah, but two characters are dying to poison. I can save one with Glow. But I bet I have a better play here where you go two, two, three, drop. The if my if I lose to these slimelets, that's tough. Really all that happened here is I got fucked over by the ghost triple rolling poison, which is a definite high roll for the ghost. But we'll take it. Only two deaths is fine. I don't like it here. Oh no, and we got a bad hero. Oh, I don't want to do this. Granite isn't terrible because Granite does not care about frail edges. Or frail hero, I should say, but Surgeon is just a good pickup. Like, this is a direct upgrade. I'm gonna go Granite, but I think it's a little scary. The question is, did I need to pick Surgeon specifically in this fight? And the answer is, uh, maybe? But we'll see. Do I have the crowd control to kill 500 feral witches? Or feral bones, I should say. The answer may surprise you. So we go two here, six here, two here. I can't kill this one, damn. It's very high value to go for two, but I could do this instead. Fix here, drop here, two here. Granite takes eight, which isn't ideal. Maybe six here. I don't like any. I want to leave this bones alive. The yellow one. Quick's in the middle. But it doesn't quite seem like it works out in a way that looks good to me. I'm like, I'm just short. Okay, so instead what I will do is here... Kill this. And then we do... I think we have to kill yellow bones. We burst top and then burst gambler. It's fine. I would have just liked to have killed him one more. You, you check. There, there's no reason not to check. That's all there is to it. You just check because it's good to make sure you're not missing anything. Uh, the two damage repel is going to be really good in this fight. And we're going to lock two here because two and three are the same number for me. We go here, because you're going to need to do two anyway in the same way. Well, actually, maybe not. 
I can drop this one. And I do have the mana, and we want to drop. We hit Evoker. Two, two, yeah, I mean two and three are basically the same. Right? Oh, no, maybe not. It feels wrong. Why does it feel wrong? Oh, two and three are not the same. If I have a three here, I kill this Bones and I get to go through to the Lich. I'm not going to reroll it though, because if I hit an X, it's really bad. There's no need to be greedy. One shield is fine. We're going to kill the Bones. With, we're going to spawn it and then kill it. Although, can I stun here? Eleven. If I could kill the Bones, I could stun. The one that spawns. I think the one that spawns comes in below, though, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. This is definitely wrong. You don't want to do this. You just spawn one and then kill it. That's okay. I wasted my turn on the stun. But the thing is, granted, I guess you have a steel side to hit it with. Jackpot. Oh, baby. How lovely. Hitting Repel would be good. I'm gonna keep healing now. Stun is whatever. Okay. It's all the same. No empty chalice value this turn, but that's okay, Evoker. Evoker Gambler. A match made in hell. Unless you hit, and then it's sick. Are you at your at eight? I can't stun the lich because another bone spawns in. This kills a bones. Maybe I can stun the lich here. If I go like two here, first here. No, I'm just a little bit too efficient, sadly. This does a little bit too much damage. Okay. Well, it's fine. Can I do it now? What if I heal? I can do a stun. There is a way. I should save my mana. I know, uh, but what, wait, but what about the freaking, you know, whoa, whoa, my empty chalice. Yeah, whatever. I'd rather drop on the bones. Alright, good fight. Gambler high rolled a lot, but that's fine with me. I'm not gonna complain. Silver pendant is pretty good for granite. Plus two to incoming shields. We're also into triple bones territory where things get kind of scary. But we have silver pendant, which is cool for granite. And we're not dead yet. If these eggs double hatch though, oh no. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not okay because I'm losing a ton of tempo having to stop these eggs from hatching. I think I want to roll a little bit here from Gambler. Two self-shield is good because I get to ignore the bones. I want to roll a six. Come on, Gambler. Don't let me down. Stun is good. I greeted and I got caught. Tragic. Tragic, tragic. Uh, I can play... Two burst. Yeah, if I didn't do this, I would be able to kill this egg and stun a snake. Oh, it's so bad. I think you actually have to let a cause spawn here. Maybe I have to let both cause spawn here? Rerolling this was too greedy. I should have just stuck with the three. I let myself get sidetracked. I thought I was trying to be too big brain. I can't be big brain here. I can't be min-maxing like that because I'm just going to die for it. <sighs> tough, man. Tough. Stop one bird. I think we have to let a bird spawn to save Evoker, unfortunately. And Disciple is just dead for sure. Can I make damage up here? That's the question. I don't I just don't have a way to kill two bones. There's no there's no way about it. You can do this and then you can't kill the egg. Oh, I just locked the three. Oh and then everything's fine. You kill the caw egg, you stun the other one. God. I fell for it, man. I really fell for it. I fell for the, oh, you just have to reroll here. This is a perfect example of when you have to break the rules. You, in this case, because on the first roll, you roll the gambler's middle side. Conventional wisdom says you should reroll that first time because the odds are in your favor to hit the six. 
or at least you can hit the six. And the odds are against double rolling X's, I think. It's like even, right? You're just as likely to roll an X as you are to roll something else. But if you roll an X in this case, even though over a long period of time, you're going to end up with more damage, like you're going to average higher damage numbers, it's still you're dying. Because if you hit an X here, you get, you get too far behind. I'm going to try. I can't even stun the alpha. If I could stun the alpha here, I would think about it. But... I can stun the snake and then Disciple lives on one. And then I have to deal with two bird eggs. I think it's okay. I think you just have to stun one of the eggs. Stun the higher HP one. Maybe we'll be alright. Cause aren't the end of the world here. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I should stun the higher one. Or I should... Oh my god, it rolled again. That's crazy. That's so unlucky. Now you're just doing me dirty here, video game. One mana? Damn. Okay, we got a two. So we have a six here. We have a three here. And a six. Oh, I'm one off. I'm one no, I'm I'm one I'm one man or I'm two mana off. I can hit him, but it doesn't help. I can hit him, but it doesn't help. If I could kill this bird, we'd be fine. I think you just go for the snake here. I save Gladiator, because the Voker's super poisoned up anyway. Gambler takes a poison here, which is a shame. I'm gonna hit the hit the bird, and then I can maybe kill it next turn with a four from from who? Who's doing four next turn? I don't know. I think you have to put yourself in a position to kill this thing. That's all. A six kills it. And a shield plus granite kills it. I think you have to put yourself set up to kill it. Although the snake is also really difficult to deal with. The three cleave is just going to start to run me over. Maybe I hit the snake. Hmm. It's a tough call. I'm going to hit the bird. But gladiator can sustain. Technically. Redirect here is good. Gambler's gonna need to start pulling a miracle. Come on, Gambler. Miracle. It's not a miracle. But we're alive. Unfortunately, Gambler dies. I think we're done. I think this is the music that we have to face. I lost this one. I made a mistake and I died. I should have lived this. But I made my mistake and I died for it. All you gotta do to come out of this one okay is lock the three on Gambler. But for a moment, just for a moment, I went in and I thought about it and I went, oh, you know what though? Every now and then someone will tell me about the probability and how I should reroll more often. And I don't like to say things like this because it feels like I'm just shit trying to shift blame. But like, every now and then I read the YouTube comments and someone says something like, oh, well, actually you should be rerolling this side because uh, if you reroll here, you have a, you, every other side is at least better. But the response that I have to remember is that it's wrong to reroll when the side that you're locking is enough. The example that someone gave me was actually with Gladiator. There was a situation where I locked a one damage end gauge on my first roll and they said, oh, well, uh, if you roll either of the two damage self shields, it's better because you can do two regardless and you get the shield and this is four on an end gauge or two baseline. And the answer is, while that is correct, it's good to just take the one because you're playing around not getting run over by double shield roll or double X roll. So you're staying ahead. It's an important lesson to learn, and I'm going to have to relearn it over and over again. You have to remember that you, even if there is a better side, if you rolled a side that's good enough to kill, you just take it. But, alas, having to run Gambler Evoker was also a real nightmare in this run. I wonder if I had played Surgeon if it would have looked different. I wonder. Granite was putting in work. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.